New York City has a brand new best burger, and it's here in the Manhattan neighborhood of Soho at Hamburger America, where you could get smash burgers cooked up by none other than George Motes himself. They only got two burgers on the menu, a smash burger and an onion smash burger, so you know we had to get one of each, plus an order of french fries and that fresh squeezed lemonade. They also got some sandwiches and other things like pie on the menu, but it's all about the burgers today, and I am so hungry because it's been a long week of working out. I deserve my protein and carb. This is the classic smash burger. We got it all the way, which is American cheese, pickles, onions, and a little bit of mustard. Let's go. Mm. Mm. Wow. Holy sh! this is incredible. When I took those first couple of bites, all the memories of my first time eating a McDonald's burger as a kid came flooding back. This is a perfectly done smash burger. We got the single patty. You can get them double as well, but I prefer the single patties. And this is the type of burger that I like. I don't like the whole fancy barbecue sauce, onion rings, coleslaw, let's stack it five patties high. You know, this is classic Americana right here. And your boy is American after all, even <laughs> so. Ready to rub. Oh no, you're good. As we were filming me eating the first smash burger, our onion smash burger came out. This one's really piping hot. I can feel it on my fingers. The bun is nice and smashed. They put a little bit of butter coating on these. Then George caramelizes those onions to oblivion, which is the way I like it. I got my Altoids in the coat. And there's also a slice of cheese on here. Let's go. Mm. Check out in there, those are the caramelized onions. We got the super thin smash patty. Excellent beefy flavor. The cheese is the only other condiment that you need on something like this. Cheese and onions, absolutely perfect together. Man, I am in love with this hamburger. Mm. Mm -hmm. Got some crispiness on the beef patty. I've been eating burgers since I've been a little kid, so I know them. Got a couple of orders of french fries that were so good, so we ordered more. Mm. Mm. Crispy. Light, not too greasy. most of those burgers and by the time he was done talking they were already cold so I had to order another one of course I got the single patty smash burger all the way Oh yeah, this is so good. Hamburger America had their grand opening just after Thanksgiving, which means they've only been open for a few weeks now. I get the impression that everything inside Hamburger America was designed to evoke that 1950s classic Americana burger stand nostalgia. It was so amazing to be among the first to try that incredible smash burger and what a treat to meet and speak with the man himself George Motes as he grilled up our phenomenal smash burgers served on pillowy potato buns. We had that fresh squeezed lemonade plus two orders of french fries. When you come to Hamburger America you're given the option to either sit in the back or sit by the grill and I highly recommend sitting by the grill especially if George is back there which I can't imagine he's not going to be there for the next several weeks. It's incredible because every Everything is made to order. You get it piping hot. So you order french fries and burgers, guess what? Those fries are gonna come out first. I think the onion one takes just a little bit longer than the classic smash burger. To be honest, I could still be sitting at that countertop ordering more smash burgers. They were so delicious, light, and part of a healthy, balanced lunch. Yo, you may not think to come to Chinatown when you're looking for New York City's most hyped up burgers, but that's exactly where we find ourselves right now at Burger by Day, talk about a cool name, to try their famous BBD Smash Burger, which is a double smash burger with the BBD house sauce. I'm not sure what's in it, but I'm about to find out. We also got tomato, onion, pickle, and of course some cheese. Also pretty famous for their chick burger, which is essentially a fried chicken thigh. Before they get too cold, I'm gonna dig into two of New York City's 
best sandwiches. This is the BBD Smash Burger. We got two smash patties on there, the BBD house sauce, a little cheese, some onions. Let's go. Mm. Mm. These smash patties are super thin, a little bit crispy. And that BBD house sauce is definitely something special and unique. It takes the burger to a new level, makes it taste different from the ones we got at Hamburger America earlier today. I'm liking the onion and the tomato on there too. This is the Martin's potato bun. Goes perfectly with that smash burger consistency. It's easy to squeeze. Very fun burger. This is the chick burger, fried chicken thigh with some BBD sauce. We got some pickles on there as well. The same Martin's potato bun. Bon appetit, yo. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. The thigh is the perfect cut of chicken to put in between two buns with that house sauce and the pickles. It makes for a phenomenal sandwich. It is piping hot right now. I'm not sure if you can see the steam in 4K. I could definitely see it in front of my eyes and I'm really enjoying this combination. I know we came out to get the hamburgers today, but we can't forget about the famous chicken burger from Burger by Day. Definitely a winner in my book. But I mean, we set out to find the best burgers in New York today. With the combination of toppings and the way these patties are cooked, this is a masterpiece. Hang it in the MoMA. Last year when we did our first annual Manhattan Burger Tour, we stopped at Bronson's Burger, Black Iron Burger, and The Nines, which is an upscale spot known for their burger number nine. Bro, let me tell you, that's where you want to take your lady for that special evening out, because it's a piano bar that just so happens to serve one of the best burgers in New York. Now, I had this day circled on my calendar for another burger tour of Manhattan, and this one, ironically enough, became a smash burger tour. 7th Street Burger has been on my list for so long. I've been waiting to try it with y'all. We're here, finally. They started off on the East Village on 7th Street, and since then they got a few more locations. We're in the LES location, which I believe just opened up. So I wanna see how this smash burger compares to George's from Hamburger America, which we had earlier in the video. If you've missed that, why don't you rewind? We ordered the single smash burger, and it comes in this beautiful red and white checkerboard paper. Look at that burger, it's looking nice and greasy. Got that American cheese coming out the side. I see some onions, some pickles, some house-made sauce. Ooh, look at them onions. You got the nice smashed potato hamburger bun, smashed patty, pickles, and the tiny onions swimming in an American cheese sauce. Along with that house-made 7th Street sauce, let's go. Mmm. Mmm, okay. You would think a smash burger with pretty much the same toppings would taste very similar, but this is such a different burger from the one we had earlier at Hamburger America. I definitely like the types of flavors that are here. George didn't put any kind of sauce on his burger, and I think that's what makes a difference here at 7th Street Burger, because that sauce is kind of like a mayonnaise-y, maybe like a Thousand Island style dressing. I don't know. I'm not the chef. But I know that they did a good job smashing this patty. The onions and the American cheese are picture perfect. We ordered it and maybe like 30 seconds later, they had this white bag with the burger ready for us to eat. They also got French fries and I don't know. Oh, they got bananas here, which we went to in our tour of Jersey City. So you could check that one out too. I've been eating smashed burgers all day. I think this is number five of the day and I'm showing no signs of slowing down. <laughs> so of the three New York City smash burgers that we had today, I have to put Hamburger America easily at number one. It's not even close. Then at number two, I'll put the 7th Street Burger and at a close number three, Burger by Day. But bro, you can't really go wrong at any of these spots. If you're craving that classic smash burger, keeping it simple, no onion rings and big old fat stacks of three patties high with a nasty stale bun. These are all gonna be good spots to get that smash burger. Don't hate, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.